Hi, I'm Jenny with Roots and Wings Furniture, and today we are going to be talking about the ABCs of fusion mineral paint. Ready to check this stuff out? Me too. Let's go. The folks at Fusion were nice enough to send me some awesome products so that I can share it with you. I've heard a lot about Fusion Mineral Paint, but I have yet to try it, so this is all new to me as well. Um, in the box that they sent, they sent this TSP. It is, it says phosphate free organic degreaser. And this is what you're supposed to prep your piece with. So we will um, dig into that here in just a second. And then I chose the color midnight blue. I thought this was a gorgeous dark navy blue. So I thought that's what we'd give a try today. This is their paint. Um, they also sent a little jar of clear furniture wax. Now the deal with Fusion is there is no top coat required, uh, but I think some people like the feel and the look of the wax. So they did send this, we can play with as well. And then check this brush out. This is a Stallmeister brush. I hope I'm saying that right. It is a big, nice, fancy brush. So we're gonna use this um, to paint with. It's a nice synthetic bristle brush. It's really soft. Um, it fits nicely in your hand and it's got the nice round um, top to it. So I'm excited to give this a try. Okay, let's talk first about application. Now I did just show you this awesome brush that they sent and in reading and researching a little bit about the paint, there's a few different ways that you can apply the paint depending on the finish that you want. So if you want a really nice smooth finish, they do recommend a synthetic bristle brush. If you want something with a little bit more texture, old world look, um, something you're gonna add some waxes and finishes to, they say that you can use a natural bristle brush. Um, and then if you have a large surface area, they say you can even use a roller for it, something like a microfiber roller. Uh, and if you had any roller marks, you could just smooth it out with a brush as you go. So that, those are the tips for the application. Um, it seems like you can do it any way you want. It just depends on the finishing look that you want to get. So that's nice, something good to know and keep in mind for sure. Um, for today's sample, we are gonna use this brush since it's what they sent. Again, this is the synthetic bristle brush. So hopefully we'll get a nice, really smooth, beautiful finish. So let's jump in here. And before we begin, let's talk about surface prep. This is where we're gonna use our TSP as a cleaner. Um, and all it says is to do two capfuls of water, I'm sorry, two capfuls of TSP into a liter of water. So this squirt bottle just has plain water in it. And I'm just gonna add the capfuls of cleaner. like soap. Looks like dish soap. It's not dish soap. Just looks like it. Traditional TSP you have to be a little bit careful with. Um, this says no rinsing required, very effective, water-based and biodegradable, compatible with all surfaces, no phosphates, and zero VOC. There, there's no smell to it. And a little bit of that goes a long way, which is super nice. All right, let's just spray this down. I did not do any sanding or anything else to this door at all. It's nice that you don't have to do any rinsing. So that saves you a step for sure. Yep, look at that. Gets off dust, dirt. All right, easy peasy. All right, now let's do the fun part. Let's get into the paint. So we're gonna talk about consistency first, um, both in the can as well as on the piece as we begin to paint. See what it looks like. Oh, it's nice. It's it's actually thinner than I was anticipating it to be. Um, it's really smooth and really nice. But yeah, I, I don't know why. I was thinking it was gonna be nice and thick. All right, it's really nice. Let's get it on here. this 
up so you can see. It's a really nice medium. It's not too thin and it's not too thick, which is really nice. And the consistency as it's being applied is really nice and smooth. The bridge of it is also really good. I know in some of the darker colors, um, you should be able to get a one coat coverage and you can see it's covering really nice. There is a little bit of wood coming through in a few spots. Really nice coverage. It also seems to be sticking really well. There's no spots where the paint um, isn't sticking or bubbling or doing anything funny. So it's sticking on there really nice. I think to get a solid coverage though, in terms of just a solid color, this would require two coats for sure. I'm seeing wood showing through here, kind of all over. So it would definitely need another coat after it would be dry. Now, as we're applying it, obviously we are seeing um, a few little brush strokes here, but I do hope that that levels out as it dries. We'll see what it looks like. There we go. I'm trying to go kind of with the grain here. Okay. We're going to let this dry and see what it looks like here in just a minute. Okay. The door is dry. So let's take a look at it. It would definitely need another coat to get full coverage. Um, you can see there is just some wood coming through kind of all over. It looks really cool. It's actually a really neat finish that this made. The color is gorgeous. Uh, this one is midnight blue again. Um, so great color and it turned out really smooth. It's a really pretty smooth finish. It's got just a little bit of sheen to it kind of built into the paint and it, the, the texture of it, like I say, is just really smooth. So I think with one more coat, it would um, cover really nice and be a really nice finish. Um, it does say let it dry for two hours before adding another coat. So there is that, uh, but it all is all water-based. So it's easy to clean the brush. It's easy to, um, clean up and take care of, and it does dry pretty quickly. So that's nice. Let's just talk about, um, the durability of it really quick. Again, durability is the hardest thing for us to test here in a quick sample. Um, but it does look like just doing the nail test on the end here. It's not scratching off. The can does say also to add extra durability to do the second coat. So I think the more paint you use, obviously it's going to give you a thicker finish, um, making it more durable over time as well. Because of the nice sheen to it, it really doesn't need a top coat, uh, but they did send this little jar of clear wax. So I thought we'd give it a try and just kind of see what it looks like. We'll do like half the door to see what it looks like on top of the paint, just to give a little sample of that. I'm just going to use, um, an old t-shirt to get it on here. And it's really nice and soft wax. So I'm going to try not to use too much, um, almost the consistency of like butter, maybe even a little bit thinner than that. I'm just going to kind of buff it on here. Again, we're just going to do half of the door so we can get a little sample of what it looks like. It says you can apply this uh, with a rag like we are or a wax brush. It does go on really nice and smooth and easy and it's not super smelly. Some waxes, ooh, they really get you. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry just for a second and then we'll kind of buff it out and see what the difference it makes in the finish. And while that's drying, let's look at our color card here real quick. Again, we used Midnight Blue, which is a beautiful dark navy. Um, they did send this color card and check out all those colors. Really nice colors, really pretty. Um, they have more than 50 colors and they are some really gorgeous colors. I love this, um, I'm looking at the back. Look at this, look at that pink. That blush dresser, oh, isn't that pretty? So lots of really nice colors, um, a, the, a wide variety, lots of neutrals, um, and obviously lots of things that you could mix together just to get any color that you wanted. So really pretty on the colors for sure. Okay, let's get
give this a little buffing. We'll see if it's dry enough. Okay, the wax is dry and I know it's really hard to see, um, but right, it's right about here. This side has the wax finish on it and this one does not. It increased the sheen just a little bit. I did buff it and it could probably be buffed again in a few minutes. Um, it's really, again, just it adds a little bit of an extra smoothness to it and a tiny bit of shine. So if you're a fan of wax, um, clear wax, this would definitely be something you would like. It's easy to work with and it's not super smelly, which is nice. Um, so overall, the the paint, it's not a one coat coverage paint like I've heard it boasted about. Um, you can see that there are there is a lot of wood showing through, so it would definitely need a second coat, which is good. It would increase the durability that way as well. Um, it is really, it's a smooth to the touch paint, which I do really like. It has a great sheen to it. I like the finish that it has. Um, there are some brush strokes showing, and I think that is just because we're seeing the wood through. Um, I think it will level out nicely with the second coat on there as well. The brush was a really nice synthetic bristle brush. I'm not a fan of these handles. That just, it just hurts my hand after a while of using it. I'm not saying that you wouldn't like it. These round skinny handles like this though just um, make my hand cramp if I'm painting a big project and holding on to it for a while. Um, again the bristles are really nice though and I think you could use any synthetic uh, brush with this kind of paint um, for sure and get a really nice finish. So that is just about it. The ABCs of Fusion Mineral Paint. Hey guess what? Fusion is sponsoring a giveaway. Check out the description for instructions on how to enter. Good luck.